This is KOAA News 5 at 6. And good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us here on News 5 at 6 on your Friday night. We're also live right now on your favorite streaming device. I'm Rob Quirk. And I'm Elizabeth Watts. First up, your top story tonight. Colorado following the CDC announcing an end to the state's mask mandate with some caveats. You don't have to wear a mask anymore, fully vaccinated or not, but the state is still suggesting you do continue to wear a mask if you have not got your, your single dose Johnson and Johnson vaccine or both doses of Moderna and Pfizer and waited the 14 days that are required to be considered fully vaccinated after getting the second dose. The state's remaining public health orders to fight COVID-19 will come to an end on June 1st. Now the state is still requiring you to wear a mask if going into any of these places you see on your screen unless you can prove you're vaccinated. Jails and prisons, daycare centers, hospitals, emergency rooms, congregate care facilities like a nursing home. Employees at those places will still be required to wear a mask unless they're vaccinated. Vaccinated, you no longer have to wear a mask in places like City Hall and courthouses and the DMV, as well as parks, trails, and open spaces. Also, masks are no longer required for festivals, fairs, or other outdoor events, concert venues, theaters, sports stadiums. No longer have to require them, but they can choose if they want. By the way, Coors Field will increase from 42% capacity to 70% capacity on June 1st. Now, these changes have caught some local businesses and other groups who serve the public by surprise. After all, the governor had previously extended the statewide mask mandate just a few weeks ago. We saw Andy Cohen live downtown in the Springs after hearing from business owners, managers about how they're all adapting to yet another change. Andy. Yeah, that's right, Rob. Well, all these businesses really want the same thing. They want to protect their customers. And while some of them say that they're ready for this change, others say it'll take a little bit more time to adjust. At Solar Roast Coffee, where the beans are roasted with Pueblo sunshine, these announcements easing mask requirements are a bright spot in the story of the pandemic. We just want everything to kind of get back to normal. Whatever the CDC says, you know, we will go with it. While her staff is fully vaccinated, they still plan to wear their masks when they serve you. They hope that unvaccinated customers will follow the recommendations and continue to mask up. We are not requiring our customers, you know, to prove their vaccination. If you are fully vaccinated, we'll honor that and you can wear no mask in here. That same honor system will apply for YMCA members, but parents should know that some groups of kids will still have to wear masks even under the governor's new order. And the kiddos between 11 and 15, we're still going to need them to wear masks during sports um, and during our child care programs. The policy changes are coming quickly, and there is signal that the governor has faith in the state's growing vaccination rate. But it's a lot for small businesses to keep up with. We have to take everything day by day, month by month, because we want to make sure we're doing the right thing. Terra Verde was one of many businesses that asked customers to wear masks even before the statewide mandate was enacted last summer. Cohen or Carrie Baker said that they'll continue to ask customers to wear masks for now because they want to treat everyone fairly. Because we want to make sure that um, we're, we're not going to be the people that are uh, making this COVID continue on and on. We want to get back to normal. And they're not alone. Many major retailers like Target, Home Depot, and King Super's parent company Kroger announced after the CDC decision that they're going to continue to ask customers to wear masks in their stores. So what about going to church this weekend? Well, it's probably best that you check with your individual house of worship to see what kind of requirements they may still have in place there. And a reminder that in Manitou Springs, there is still a local mask order that's in effect. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado. Andy Cohen, News 5. Andy, great information. Thank you. And Walmart, Costco, and Trader Joe's all announced today they will no longer require customers to wear a mask. But it really is up to each individual business to set their own policy. Private businesses still have the authority to make their own rules, especially if they're unable to verify a customer's vaccination status. It's also likely we'll have to continue wearing masks on planes. The TSA's mask mandate does not expire until mid-September.